Hi, this is Sherry, and I made some new cards. So my channels, my personal channel is for Gervin, but this is for my Healing Revivalist art channel. So I think I'm just posting it on my personal channel right now, but um, this is part of that motivation to be posting videos. And then today is May. Um, seventh maybe for reels. And then this is my cheat sheet for my little things that I'm going to talk about. And I'm being led to say a prayer right now. And so I would like to say a prayer before we get started. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for being in the zone. We thank you for peace, your creativity, your amazingness, your beautifulness. You know who you are. He knows who he is. Once I remember I was praising him and I was like, Jesus, you're amazing. Jesus, you're fabulous. And he was like, I know. And I was like, hmm, Jesus knows that he's great. That doesn't sound humble to me. But of course, he was co totally correct and I was not. So I had to, it took me a little while to move through what was going on with that. But he is so worthy of all praise. Jesus, you're worthy of every intention, every focus, every effort uh, to be in your lap, Lord. And I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. And so Jesus doesn't have an identity crisis. He knows he's all that in a bag of chips. He knows. He knows. He's the smartest person in the world ever. So is God. So is the Holy Spirit. They're amazing. Um, and this is a video I want to talk about specifically about my art and what my thought process is on my art and what I'm trying to communicate as an artist. I uh, want to talk about grace first so you can understand where I'm coming from uh, because I'm going to tell you how this is all from grace. Um, I worked very hard in my life so far. Um, I got married when I was 20. I've been married 35 years, which makes me 55. We have three adult children. Um, and I'm a nurse. So not only did I have a fan, start a family when I was 20 with my husband, um, I went through nursing school during that. I became a nurse during that. And my kids all grew up during that. And... Now I'm living in grace, which is this. So there's two things to talk about. Well, there's a lot of things to talk about in the Bible, but grace and mercy are very close. And a really good definition is taught by Bethel Church in Redding, California. I don't know who invented that analogy, but they repeat it and it sticks and it makes sense. Um, if you're speeding on the highway, and the policeman pulls you over and asks you what speed you were going. And you were like, oh, I was speeding. I went this certain speed. I wasn't paying attention. I was speeding. And the policeman's like, but that was like 50 miles over the speed limit. And you're just like, yeah, I'm pretty stupid. And the policeman's like, okay, you can go. I won't give you a ticket. Just don't do it again. So that's mercy, right? You should be punished. You did something wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to get my water. So you know you did something wrong, but you didn't get punished for it. That's mercy. Now, say the same thing happens. The policeman pulls you over 50 miles over the speed limit. He's going to write you a ticket. And you explain, yes, I'm an idiot. I I did it. Yeah, I won't do it again. I didn't mean to do it. I'm just dumb. And the policeman goes, okay, I'm not going to give you a ticket. And here's $100. So you're free. Like you didn't have to pay what you owed. So with mercy, you know, you, you were supposed to be punished, right? And you didn't get punished. So that's mercy. But grace is when you should be punished. And you get a kiss instead. Instead of a slap, you get a kiss. And I have to tell you that that's how God is. 
even if you did something wrong, he is not wanting to slap you. He's wanting to fix what you did wrong. He's wanting to fix you. He's wanting to fix how it hurt you, how it hurt the other people in your lives. You know, you don't have to study. God made a way for every ignorant person on this planet to make their way to him, to make their way to Jesus. And he's making his way to you. And so grace is the hundred dollars that you get that you not only did you not get punished, but you got something else. You got a kiss. And so my life, no matter how hard I worked, I never deserved to get the kiss. I can't work hard enough to get the kiss. I always deserve the slap because I'm an idiot. Um, and I think certain things are going to make me happy and this is what I want or I'm afraid. Leave me, leave me alone. Whatever it is. Whatever keeps you from God. That's what sin is. And so my art is in grace. So not only is God giving me grace because I have a life now that is far superior than any I could have constructed in my own mind as a gift of grace. And as I'm an artist making my art, I know that I'm making each piece of art for a singular person, the person that's going to buy it. But at the same time, that person owns it, but everybody else can still see it. Everybody else still receives from the beauty of the image. Everyone can still connect with the intention of the image, even though they might not own it. And another thing is I'm making a special box for my art. Uh, to protect it and keep it safe. You can hang it in the box or you could just keep it in the box. Uh, it's going to be very versatile, the design of it. Oh, I was going to show you the design. Okay, this is the design. And, okay, nobody steal my design. No, oh, copyrighted right now. Boom, boom, boom. It's mine. Can't have it. All right. So it's a box, a, a flat, narrow box that the painting goes into and can be displayed inside of. And these are little clear acrylic um, corner pieces that will hold the art in place. There's a hole in the top of the box uh, because wooden boxes will have volatile chemicals uh, that are acidic and I don't want it to change the painting. So we're working on that. Um, but um, I have the frame design done. I'm very excited about that. And Latanya's husband, Peter, um, is a carpenter. So he's going to look at the design and um, give me any input that he might, that could help me. And then, oh, you want to see Cosette? Here. You haven't seen Cosette yet. See, everybody loves a cute dog. Cosette, straighten that face out. It looks not asymmetrical. Ooh, she's a sweet dog. And then Lou's coming over here because he hears me talking to Cosette and Lou's like, where well, it's my turn. Here we go. Here we go. All right. This is Guadalupe. We call her Lou. Lou, you. She is 17. Yeah, you're 17. And her tongue sticks out. Okay, okay, okay. She did not want to be there. All right. I know, I know. There you go. Okay, artist statement. I gotta make an artist statement, be quiet. You know how computer chips have silicone on them. Silicon, silicon, silicon valley. Um, or silicone or silica. I'm going to say that wrong every time because I need to look up exactly what they call it. But in a computer chip, there's silicone on it and it makes a pattern and a design that means something. I don't know what the design means, but the person that made the chip, the person that put the design down can understand it. And so can certain other people that know this language. And so when I make my painting, the elements, the colors, the water, the media, the paper, come together just like that computer chip to make a pattern and a design that says something that I don't know what it says, but the person that owns it knows what it says. And the person that's looking at it can understand what it's trying to say. Anyway, we're coming up on 10 minutes. I really think, thank you guys for listening and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.
It's not time yet.